Joining us today in Morning Blend is Matthew Hunt. He is the store manager of Summit Comics and Games on Washington Square, downtown Lansing. It's free Comic Book Day is coming up, Matthew. Tell us all about that. How's that work? So Free Comic Book Day is May 7th. It's always the first Saturday of May. Obviously, the last two years, COVID kind of pushed it back. Mm -hmm. But what it is is it's from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We got 25 to 30 different comics you can get for free, four per person. That day we'll also have three local artists. And I'm working on a big national artist that's from here that's done books for Image in D.C. Ah. Um, and then the Girl Scout cookies also will be out. Girl Scouts will be out selling cookies as well. Okay. Last year we had over 1,200 people show up. It was a great time. People come in and enjoy it. Because like comics, it's getting kids into reading. So you got a kid at home that can't, that struggles, doesn't want to re read a big chapter book. Yes, these are small. They're 32 to 24 pages. They also have come in trade paperbacks where there's six issues put together. Yeah. So get some reading. We have a nice kids section as well. Yeah, yeah. Talk about um, this big friend you brought with you, the giant gobbler. <laughs> so the gobbler's pretty cool. Now that D and D, since COVID happened, D and D's been kind of has gotten more popular. Mm -hmm. People are staying home and playing games with their friends. Yeah. And we've got this statue, and he's roughly about three foot tall. <laughs> he is five ninety nine, okay. five hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. But he's really cool. It's just a neat thing. It's a goblin you encounter when you're going through the dungeons. Now, at Summit Comic and Games, do you purchase comic books? I buy comics. I also buy Funko Pops um, and box figures and Legos. Yeah. But it's it's a great thing because the only way to re get those old comics is bringing them and selling them to me, and we can sell them to the... My husband's getting nervous as I'm asking this because he's got some tucked away. I'm like, oh, maybe they're worth more than you think they are. <laughs> Bring them on down. We'll take a look and make you an offer. You know, in the last time, comic book stores, you even have a, a cookbooks. Some stores have the, I know, the comic book cookbooks, which is a fun thing to do. So it's a little bit for something for everybody who you might not think that you're into comics. And so you walk into a comic book store and go, well, this isn't quite what I imagined it to be. It's funny you brought up the cookbooks. So I have a kid section in the front and above the kid section, I have the cookbooks so why the parent the kids are looking at the cookbook <laughs> or the kids books the parents can look at the cookbooks and they've been selling better since I put them up there yeah that's awesome and I think that's a really great point you bring up about maybe kids aren't wanting to read a big chapter book but anytime you can get them to read more and to get those bite-sized morsels and that's something that they can you know pick away at a little bit at a time and really get their brain engaged with that different form of, of processing information yeah, I mean, it, that, and it's just, I mean, it's a, they're great stories, and they keep you intrigued, and you, they make you want to read more. Yeah. The cartoons are one thing, but this, you can make your own story in your own head. Yeah. Free Comic Book Day coming up. Find out more on their Facebook page. Thanks for coming by, Matthew. You're welcome.